This election enters its final hours as Republican President Donald Trump and his Democratic challenger Joe Biden make their final pitch to voters ahead of election day on Tuesday. More than 94 million people have already cast their ballots in early voting, putting the country on course for its highest turnout in a century. And as Waiga Moura tells us, election night in America could look very different as the mailed-in ballots could take longer to count, making it more difficult for an early prediction of the winner. President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden are racing for the hearts and votes of Americans in an election that will be defined not just by the policies and promises of the candidates, but also by the global COVID-19 pandemic. Incumbent President Trump will spend pre-election day in Air Force One, crisscrossing North Carolina, Michigan, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania in a last-ditch effort to save states that he won four years ago. What a great victory we had. And we're going to have an even bigger victory. Get out there and vote. Joe Biden will be focusing on Ohio and Pennsylvania, his birth state, seeking to tip the scales in his favor. This is the most important election of our lifetimes. We're at an inflection point, so we have to vote like we never did before. The national polls show Biden in the lead and the predictions are the same in the swing state polls as a 77-year-old seeks to deny 74-year-old Trump another four years in the White House. But Biden can't start celebrating just yet if 2016 was anything to go by. The popular vote went to Hillary, but yet um, President Donald Trump won the election. So we're, we're not sure what's going to happen. I think um, it is going to be a close call and only on November 3rd um, that we will actually know exactly um, who's the winner. Now, each state gets a number of electoral college votes, partly based on its population. And there are a total of 538 up for grabs. Thus, the winner is the candidate that wins 270 or more electoral college votes. President Trump's leadership during the COVID-19 pandemic will be weighed during the election as his Democrat challenger accuses him of denial and neglect of a pandemic that has led to the death of more than 230,000 Americans and shows no signs of abating in terms of the rate of infection. Regardless of your political position, um, leadership. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and so I think this election is going to be about the impact that this pandemic has had on the United States economy, as well as the incumbent's ability to um, respond to it uh, accordingly. When the polls close on Tuesday night in America, it may take several days for every vote to be counted. But it's usually possible to predict who the winner is by the early hours of the following morning. Officials are already warning that the world may have to wait longer, possibly days, even weeks, for the result this year because of the expected surge in postal ballots. In addition, the International Crisis Group, an organization that frequently reports on instability in nations around the world, is warning that several factors could lead to violence on and around Election Day, and business owners in some of the larger cities have been seen boarding up their displays to prevent vandalism. However, when the dust settles, the president will be officially sworn into office on the 20th of January 2021 on the steps of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Wahiga Mwaura, Citizen TV.